Hey there Libra, welcome, this is Renee, and welcome back. This is going to be your May 2023 reading, so we're going to take a look and see what's coming forward for Libra in May. We're going to take a look at love, we're going to take a look at money, we're also going to pull your fortune oracle, and I'm going to read the meaning of that at the end. I'm also going to take a look and see what's challenging you this month and get some advice and then we'll go ahead and pull your angel number okay and get your affirmation so stay tuned okay we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world okay so this may be a good time to like go into hermit mode go ahead and do that reflection take time out for yourself do your healing um, meditate, contemplate on your situations in life, and just concentrate on Libra, right? So let's take a look at your money. Let's take a look at money. What's going on for Libra? Okay, two want to come out. Okay, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn, and we also have luck is on your side. Okay, so I feel like this month, your money situation is going to start to be restored. I feel like you may have been having a very hard time um, in the month of April, uh, maybe even in the month of March, right? Um, but I feel like it. things are looking up, things are starting to turn around. Some things will be restored for you, I feel, in the month of May. So let's go ahead and get your angel number, excuse me, your angel card. What did the angels have to say to Libra? We have Prioritize, Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. You know, so I think Spirit is letting you know to prioritize your time very wisely in the month of May, right? Set your priorities, set your intentions, because like I said, this is going to be a very good month for you. So if you are trying to manifest something into your life, it's time to set those intentions very clearly. You know, go into great detail about the things that you are setting your intentions on. Be very descriptive, you know? Okay, let's go ahead and get your fortune oracle. What do we have for Libra? What fortune oracle do we have for Libra, please? Okay, we have the cracker, the number seven. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that meaning at the end. So stay tuned. Okay, but first we'll go ahead and get your love situation. Let's see what's going on for Libra and love. So let's get a message for Libra, please. What's going on in the month of May? 2023 for Libra. What's going on in Libra's love life in the month of May? What's going on in Libra's love life? Okay, Seven of Cups, possibilities. You know, there may be some confusion when it comes to love. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so when it comes to the love situation, I feel like the reason why you're retreating, the reason why you're going within could be because of confusion. Because there's some kind of conflict that you're going through at the beginning of May. Okay, there's some kind of conflict that kind of pushes you into this defensive energy. And it may leave you kind of confused as to why or how the situation has evolved the way it has. 
right? And I feel like that's what brings you into this retreat mode to where you may be going within to find answers, right? So let's get some more energy and love for Libra. Yeah, okay. We have the Seven of Swords and we also have the Nine of Cups. So when it comes to this energy, at the bottom we have the sun. So the month of May, it might be a little turbulent at the beginning, but I feel like, you know, you're going to find your happiness. There may be something that, that you've lost along the way, my beautiful Libra, but I feel like whatever this energy is that you are letting go of, you know, it keeps you discouraged for a moment but you're moving forward you know you've accepted things the way that they are and you are getting a better perspective about the reason why things are happening the way that they are okay so let's get a little bit deeper when it comes to the five of swords energy like i said i feel like this is you know some kind of conflict that you're going through okay this could also be someone being very sneaky. We have the Seven of Swords there as well. You know, so someone may be trying to deceive you. Someone may be also trying to be a little strategic, trying to keep secrets, trying to kind of get over on you, right? But I feel like you're very aware of the situation. You kind of, because you're putting your defenses up. You know, even though you may be confused when it comes to love, you're putting your defenses up. You're not letting it phase you, right? You're still trying to find a reason to be satisfied in the situation. You know, not that you're letting things go or not that you're overlooking things, but you're just kind of aware of the situation, right? That's the feeling that I'm getting from those cards. Um... Let's see, why is the Seven of Cups here? I want to clarify this real quick. Why is the Seven of Cups here? And I'll clarify the other cards after we get your challenge and advice. But I want to know about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Oh, that's way too many cards, Spirit. A message for the Seven of Cups. There we go. The strength card. You're confused about the situation, but you're very strong. You're very strong. You see things the way that they should be, right? You have the two of wands at the bottom. So you see things going um, in your direction. You know, so you're not worried about this situation. You're not letting it phase you. You know, you've got a lot of courage and compassion when it comes to this situation. So I feel like if this is a person who's causing this conflict, they're kind of pulling on your heartstrings a little bit to get your sympathy, but you're not letting them phase you. You're like, you know, I don't have time for this drama. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm standing my ground, right? And I feel like there's some kind of decisions that you're making when it comes to this situation. Um, I feel like something's definitely not ending, but it's bringing some kind of discouragement and change. Okay? We have the Two of Wands, the Death card in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the World card. So, although something is not fully ending, it's still bringing you some kind of heartache um, followed by healing because the cycle's ending. You're moving past it. Right? And you're being restored in the situation with the Six of Cups energy. You know, there's something being restored for you in the month of May. Okay? So if this is a situation when it comes to love, there may be some conflicts, but I feel like your relationship is going to last if you're already in a relationship. If this has to do with a friendship, I feel like, you know, you, you may be going at it with a friend, um, having heated discussions or, you know, some kind of conflict with them. But, you know, you're going to endure. You're going to push through this energy. You know, you're not letting it phase you. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and get your energy for money. Okay, I'm going to take that strength card and put that back there. What messages do we have for Libra for the money situation? What messages do we have for Libra for money, please, and finances? Messages for Libra, money, and finances. Okay, we have the Justice card. Justice in reverse for your overall energy. So I feel like you're still waiting on something to go your way when it comes to your money. You know, there's still something that you're trying to make right. We do have the Wheel of Fortune, so I feel like things are changing. We have the Emperor, so I feel like you're taking control of the situation. Um, this is also, as far as energy, this is also Pisces and Aries energy. We also have Libra here. You know, so you're stepping out, Libra. Um, we also have the Nine of Wands. So there's something that you're not giving up on. And the King of Wands. Okay. We have the Three of Swords in reverse at the bottom. So yeah, something is actually being restored to you when it comes to this energy. For your overall energy with the Justice card in reverse... This is actually something that you felt was very unfair. You know, something that didn't quite go the way that you expected it to go. Right? It could be some kind of judgment, some kind of court case, some kind of contract that you were trying to feel just didn't go the way that you thought it would but it may have it may end up going much better than you think right with the will of fortune and the emperor it may go even better than you think because the will of fortune this is destiny you know this is karma being re being fulfilled Right. And the, the emperor energy, this is, you know, being in authority, taking control, being that natural entrepreneur. You know, he knows exactly to put his finances wherever and he's going to build a legacy. You know, he's using his logic to create something. He's bossing up here. Right. So the, the nine of wands energy, this is actually, if you think about the nine of wands, this is not backing down. You know, this is the wounded warrior there. But even though there's the wounded warrior, they haven't quit. They haven't give up. They're being very resilient. Right. And when you're resilient, you know, you are bound to be restored to your fullest capability okay that's what i'm getting that's the words that i'm getting with the king of wands energy th this could also be taking action adapting to your situation very naturally the king of wands is also overcoming challenges right seeing the big picture for what it is so i feel like when it comes to your finances there are challenges that you're overcoming. You know, something that you were in doubt about that you didn't think was going to come through is going to be very fruitful for you. You know, you are going to put something into action that's going to bring you a really good partnership with this Two of Cups energy and the Empress. You know, the Empress, she's able to manifest whatever it is her heart desires because she has that ability. She trusts the universe fully. You know, she's very fertile for success. So I feel like you're very fertile for, you know, making that advancement this month. Okay. Now this could, I'm, I'm doing finances, but this could also be love and pregnancy here with this two of cups and this empress. You know, th this could be the start of family making, right? 
but I feel like, you know, there's something that's going to surprise you in the month of May because it's going to go better than you expect, right? So let's go ahead and get your challenge. What's going on for Libra in the month of May? What's going to challenge Libra? What is going to challenge Libra in the month of May? Okay, the Two of Swords. Ooh, the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Sun in reverse. At the bottom, we have the Judgment. Okay, so I feel like this is, you know, some kind of difficult decision that you're going to have to make. This is some kind of difficult choice. You may be at a stalemate when it comes to your ideas, especially with that Ace of Swords, Two of Swords. Um, Ace of Swords in Reverse, you know, there may be some kind of confusion when it comes to making a very strong choice, right? The judgment, this could be new beginnings, a rebirth, stepping out of your comfort zone, but this is also the card of second chances, right? So take it how it resonates. The Sun in Reverse, you know, the Sun is the Sun, but um, this could also be kind of pushing. There may be a difficult decision that you need to make that's kind of leaving you very, very negative, in a negative place, right? That's your challenge. Maybe someone wants a second chance. Someone's coming back. And I feel like this is something that you may not want at this time. So you're making some kind of difficult decision to not provide a second chance about a certain situation. Right? We have the Hierophant in reverse. It could be that someone that you were in a relationship with is coming back in the month of May. And you're like, mm -mm, no. We have Capricorn energy. We have... With the Judgment card, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Hierophants. I've got to think. My mind isn't working as fast as it should be today. With the Hierophants, we have Taurus. Energy. And Capricorn. Mm, the devil energy. We have Capricorn. Yeah, so I, I feel like if this is someone that you were in a relationship with, Libra, this is someone who left you very negatively. You know, they left you feeling really bad. This could be Capricorn energy. But I feel like they left you very depressed and wounded. That's the word I'm getting, wounded, right? Um, so I feel like this person may try to come back. And that's the reason why you have this difficult choice to make. So let's go ahead and get your advice. What advice does Spirit have for Libra for this challenge? What advice do we have for Libra? The King of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. Stand your ground, Libra, okay? When it comes to the situation, if this is a love situation, I feel like this King of Cups here may be very charming, may be very witty, but this King of Cups left you feeling very unappreciated, right? They left you feeling like you may not have been good enough, you know? And I feel like now is time to stand your ground, to be very resilient, to not give up the fight, right? To not back down, okay? And you also have the two of wands in the world at the bottom. You know, we have the star in reverse. So I feel like you're still going through healing with the situation. There's still some wounds that are left open. But this cycle is ending. 
You know, it's time to move past the situation. You know, it's time to look towards your future. Make, make the plans that you need to make to move forward, right? So, that is your advice. So, let's go ahead and clarify for Libra. We'll clarify the love reading first. Why is the Five of Swords here in the Seven of Wands? Yeah, the Queen of Cups and the Hermit card. Now, this Queen of Cups here, she's dipping her toes in the water, but she's also protecting her cups. So, with the Queen of Cups and the Hermit card, I feel like Spirit is letting you know to protect your energy. You may need to go within to find the answers that you need because I feel like you're very curious at this time. There's a lot of things that may have been left unanswered that you want the answer to. You know, you may have a lot of questions, uh, Libra. So I feel like, you know, you're going to have this success. You're going to have this reason to be satisfied, to be uh, celebrated. But at first, you're going to be going through this soul searching, right? You're going to want answers, okay? So why is the Seven of Swords here and the Nine of Cups? Give me a message. Why is the Seven of Swords here and the Nine of Cups? Spirit, give me a message. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. There's still some building to do. Right? You have the strength card on the bottom again. So I think spirit is letting you know. Oh, and the world. And the three of swords in reverse. Yeah, and I feel like you need to be strong. Whatever situation that you're going through, Libra, I feel like you're healing in the situation. It's time to rebuild yourself up. To, you know, gain your balance. Set your standards. And... You know, do that hard work on yourself. Put that energy into yourself at this moment. Because you could be coming through an awakening, right? You could be ending a cycle and building, you know, building yourself up with this Three of Swords and, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, definitely. There's something being offered to you in the month of May, some kind of new beginning. And I feel like it it's almost feels like an awakening. Like you're going through this spiritual journey when it comes to love and your life in general, right? So let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going on with your money and finances. Okay, spirit. Give me a message. Why is the will of fortune in the emperor here? Give me a message. Why is the will of fortune in the emperor here? Why is the will of fortune in the emperor here? Pisces and Aries energy. Hmm. The ace of wands in reverse. The page of wands in reverse. We have the moon at the bottom. Some information that you've been waiting for is being revealed to you. You're waiting for those answers, though. You're waiting for something to happen when it comes to this page of wands and ace of wands in reverse. But I feel like... You're trying to get up the energy to make some kind of move. And you're just trying to figure out what direction you need to go in. Maybe that's the reason why the Justice card is in reverse as well. Because you're... I feel like you're working on your situation, but I feel like there's something that's kind of holding you back. Like you just don't have the willpower to kind of put the energy into this that you need to. You know, you may have a lot of temptation when it comes to spending your finances. You know, there may be a lot of temptation around you. There's a lot of wands here, right? So this is passionate energy. This is, you know, movement. 
maybe too much movement as far as your finances go because for finances we want to see more pinnacles we don't want to see all these ones all these ones make us work harder right all these ones keep us busy it doesn't provide what we want so i feel like in the month of may you may be working a little bit harder than what you need to be doing and i feel like it's kind of keeping you from going in the direction that you need to go in okay so let's go ahead and take a look why is the nine of wands here and the king of wands give me a message why is the nine of wands and the king of wands here the hangman and the queen of wands wow and the Queen of Wands is in reverse. At the bottom, you have the Four of Wands. This is going to be a very busy month for you. You are going to be putting in a lot of work on your situation. You know, and with this Queen of Wands in reverse here, this could be um, if you're attached to someone. This is only if you're attached to someone, okay? So take it how it resonates. If you're attached to someone, I feel like this person is a busy spender, right? It may not be you that's causing this fluctuation of your finances. It may be this Queen of Wands energy, right? Um, because I feel like this Queen of Wands is really busy spending money, you know? They're being a little selfish when it comes to the money situation. And I feel like your energy here, Libra, you're trying to gain a different perspective. I feel like you may need to sacrifice something, right? There may be a need for you to sacrifice or put more attention onto something instead of all this movement. Look at all these wands. This is nothing but wands and major arcana, right? The whole financial situation is movement, energy, you know, spending. There's no pinnacles here at all. So I feel like you definitely have more money going out than you have money going in, right? Um, and I feel like that's something that you want to take control of. That's something that you want to get under control. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your Oracle card. Let's see what they have to say for Cracker number seven. Okay, this is a rather auspicious card. Personally, you're on fire and there's an explosion of positive energy surrounding your aura. This card will deliver much excitement and good news is also likely. Offers may come in professionally and so dress to impress at every opportunity. You will feel on top of the world and everyone will want to be near you. Celebrations are waiting to get out your glitzy gear for all those social get-togethers and be prepared for plenty of action. Travel is a potential highlight at this time too, so go for the gold. For your personal relationships, the uplifting vibe, you will attract many admirers. Love is sizzling for singles, attractions and passions run riot. Accept any and all invitations so you are at the right place at the right time to meet that special person. New friendships will also be made, but watch for overindulging in too much food and alcohol. This will dampen your, posi your positive energy. Let your golden era aura shine brightly and everyone will want to be close to you. Okay, your career and money, your enthusiastic attitude will go down well with colleagues, bosses, bosses and clients alike. You will impress them all with your positivity and business meetings could be particularly successful. Know that you can be the best. You will be admired and may be offered promotions and win some money. Some great money-making ideas could also come your way. This is an excite and excuse me, this is an excellent time for purchasing property or selling and investing. 
be assertive and ask for what you want. Your timing is sensational. Your power tip. Place a fabulous picture of yourself in a gold bejeweled frame. Place it where you can see it daily. Wear gold jewelry and place gold items around the home to increase your sparkling appeal. Okay, so that is your fortune oracle. Okay, and your angel number is 111, Destiny. Follow what you feel. Listen as your intuition helps to guide you to what you are manifesting. The inner whispers are helping you to create all that is that you desire. So listen, lean in, and follow your soul. Your affirmation, love is always happening for me, and I am allowing myself to lean in to what feels good. Okay, so that is your reading, my lovely Libra. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Please smash that button for me, please. I appreciate you and love you. And if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. They can be resonating with you more at this time. And until your next reading, my beautiful Libra, many blessings to you. Love and light.